The Mount Holyoke College MNCs have been an integral part of the on-campus music scene since 1989. In the spring semester of that fateful year, a small group of women, led by Michelle Radcliffe, Jen Salvadora Kendra, Claudia Barth Bennett, and Shanette Barth came together in hopes of adding a little sugar and spice to the acapella community. Uh, the idea came really in a reaction to a concert uh, that the above-mentioned individuals witnessed at Yale in spring 1989. They were singers of a different sort, bringing talent from every far-reaching corner of Mount Holyoke campus. Feeling inspired by an off-campus a cappella performance, this group of friends decided to make some music of their own from scratch. Because I had such an awesome weekend. Like, yeah. it was yeah, so fun. much fun. So, yeah. That group was so good. What was their name? Baker's Dozen. Oh yeah, they were awesome. Yeah. yeah. I think we could totally do that though. Oh yeah. 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 Man, there's so many good pop songs out these days. I got a great tape just recently from Lilith Fair. Sweet. My girlfriend got it for me. Nice. Um, and there's this great new singer on it named Shania Twain. Yes. Oh yeah, she's, totally. Uh -huh. I've heard of her. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. awesome. So we could do one of her songs, I think. What's so. that like really popular song? Um, any Any Man of Mine. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be any awesome. Man of mine. Okay. Right. So it's a good one. Right. How does it start? Yeah. Um, Bow now, ba -na -na now, now, bow now, 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 ka do Bow now, ba -na -na now, now, ba now, ba now, 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 bow now, ba -na -na now, now, ba now, ba now, now, now. Any man of mine better be proud of me. Even when I'm ugly, you still better love me. I can be late for a date, that's fine, but he better be on time. And so the debauchery began. But it wasn't always a cookie walk for these pastry delights. I can't believe MNCs are 20 years old. When I first got here, I heard these rumors. There was this group called Spoiled Milk and Rotten Cookies. My boss kind of pulled me aside and said, this is going to be a tough haul. They're off to a rough start. Inspiration for this group's name comes from one of Mount Holyoke's oldest and most cherished traditions. Without fail, every evening at 9.30 p.m., milk and cookies are served in the residence halls for all students to come together and enjoy. Of course, the hope is that people will come to the concerts of MNCs because they will hopefully get milk and cookies. In time, no sugary seduction would be necessary. It wasn't long before the MNCs would cultivate a recipe for vocal greatness. I'm impressed after the time I've been here now. I think they're onto something. I think this group has some magic going. Back in 1993, the MNCs first hey, went abroad. Who are you? Um. All right, I'll take it from here. Hey everyone, my name is Chloe and I am an MNC. Want to see what really goes on behind the music? Listen up. In search of new talent, the MNCs hold competitive, weekend-long auditions at the beginning of every semester. When someone was um, admitted into the group, we would, you know, in the middle of the night, run out to their dorm room door and start singing. When I got sung into the MNCs, I... It was during MNCs. Coincidence? I think not. Probably my favorite memory in the MNCs was having everyone bust into my room while I was watching a movie with my roommate, singing up the ladder to the roof and handing me a large bowl of cookies. And I was sitting at my desk and I heard, I kind of heard noises outside my door. My door was, the door was open to my room. And I hear a little like scurry, scurry, little footsteps. I saw a couple faces in the door and then I saw them kind of pop away and I heard a lot of rustling and one person opened the door and swore and then closed the door again. And Just from there I like knew what was going to happen. I hear like the snaps and people busting in and I don't know. It was a joyous, joyous experience. I like thought I was going to pass out and I don't really get nervous that much and I don't, you know, but I really like, I don't think I said anything. This reaction is not uncommon among MNC's newbies. That's actually how we got a, a good percentage of our group members was scaring them, threatening them, uh, and then welcoming them, them like family. We practice absolutely no hazing rituals in the MNCs. Then they made me do stuff. Stuff I don't want to talk about. After everyone has been properly initiated into the group, it's time to get down to business. MNCs rehearse for seven hours every week, and as you might imagine, coordinating the weekly schedules of 15 Mount Holyoke students is not exactly a walk in the park. Scheduling rehearsals is really difficult. Um, it's become more and more difficult with the more people we've had in the group. Okay, so six to eight, we're missing you for sure. Why then why can't we do Tuesdays? 
We can. I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see what the deal is. Okay. <laughs> I just know. It's just if like three people are me missing potentially on right. Wednesday. I was trying to see how many people were. Okay. Missing. I really want to tear my hair out every semester. Normally, I would just put out a schedule and everyone would just have to follow it, but. People like to do their own things. I, just, I have class from no. 8 to noon, 1 to 4, work from 5 to 9, and then rehearsal from 9 to 11. That's, what my, that's what my Tuesday but looks like. That's what it has to be, that's fine. That's why I'm grimacing over here. On Tuesday, if I skip dinner, I can be there for 45 minutes. Yeah, but your health is I mean, important. that is your yeah, own. who needs food? Yeah. I would not advise that. I like dinner. Sometimes we're missing people, and sometimes it just takes days and days to figure out a schedule. As a newbie, you learn the entire MNC's repertoire in the course of a few weeks. It's a challenging transition, in particular because of how extraordinary the musical process is. Everything that we sing is arranged and taught, learned, and passed down from generation to generation by ear. Since we're so small, every single year the dynamics drastically shift, but every year that I've been in it, it's just gotten better and better. We learn to become more of this organic whole, and we all fit together and tune ourselves to one another and are able to deviate from what in the classical music world would be a standardized piece of music. I found that a cappella is um, very satisfying musically and it's even more rigorous than what I've experienced before. Uh, when we bring songs into the group, it's it can be a really long process. Sometimes it's a really short process. Sometimes it's a really long process. We sang a lot of stuff from like the 80s. Oh, 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 oh. I was in the group in the mid 90s, so you know we'd try and put something um, you know new in every once in a while. But um, there's a lot of there's some Motown stuff, and there was some Fleetwood Mac and Mary <laughs> Jean Carpenter, and lots of like you know go women kind of stuff.